Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I'm going to be styling the shelves of our vintage secretary desk with you guys. They are mainly done in an everyday fashion, but I'm gonna have just a few pops of spring that could easily be swapped out for different florals for the season and such. So I'm excited to style them with you guys and let's get right into it. All right, so starting off today, just so you guys are aware, when it comes to shelf spacing, generally speaking, you want a minimum of 12 inches in between your shelves. This is a vintage piece of furniture. I do not have 12 inches to work with. This middle part is, I think, 11 and a quarter, 11 and a half, and the top and the bottom are less than 11 inches. So it is a tighter space we're working with. I'm making it work. I love the piece itself. So. I'm excited to share what I came up with with you guys. Um, but we're going to be starting off today with this beautiful wooden box. I found this at Golden Oldies on my last trip there. I am going to be making another trip during the spring market. So I'm super excited for that. I will be sure to film what I can to share with you guys. But when it comes to the shelf styling, I like to do something on a more simplistic side and then I'll do a more layered look on the opposite. And I will carry that through as best I can. Sometimes it might be a little bit heavier, but we're gonna start off with this beautiful wooden box. I love to use books in my shelf styling. It helps add some texture and also give some height to other items you can layer in. I'm going to be adding this gold frame I recently found antique shopping as well as this cast iron horse. So since we did our more simplistic moment here and the busier one to the right of it, we're gonna come diagonally and I'm going to do a statement floral moment. I have this Hobby Lobby vase with some um, eucalyptus stems and these are those super budget friendly ones from at home. As you can see, it's definitely a little crowded. I would prefer there to be more space, but I really wanted to integrate a arrangement in this shelf styling to just push it more in the spring direction than it naturally would. So I went antique shopping the other day and I came across this beautiful sailboat landscape kind of moment. It's very dark and moody. Normally I would do something a little bit more brighter. I have been struggling to find art that is affordably priced when I'm antique shopping. So I have found some, but I've been super picky to make sure that I'm not spending an arm and a leg on it. This was under $20, which I thought was super great. I actually picked this up for my husband. So when we finish his office space, we can put it on his shelves but I'm gonna steal it for the moment because we're not done just yet. But I thought that this would be such a great statement piece. It is on the darker side, like I mentioned, but I think anything nautical, especially for spring and summer is really pretty, but it's just a classic look that will work in any space as well. Now moving on to our bottom shelf, I'm going to be using this stool from Lux B Co. They sent me this one and it's so pretty. It's a vintage black stool. They do have a natural colored one as well if you would prefer that, but I have so many wood pieces as you guys know. So the black was a perfect contrast to everything else I have going on. And it also pulls the darkness of this vase to the side. So this is gonna be our more layered side for this shelf. Now I'm adding this mustard jar with some dried baby's breath and this gold bunny is from Target Dollar Spot last year. 
going to add this horse print. One of my Instagram friends, Kate, has an Etsy shop and she found this when she was out and there was another one too. I do have the other one of it, but she has so many great vintage finds. So if you do not have an antique store near you, I will link her Etsy shop below so that you can find yourself some great things to add into your space as well. The last touch I'm adding is this green faux book box to add a pop of color, as well as this vintage iron candle holder. And here is how it all came together, friends. I love the turnout of it. Some of it I could definitely tweak a little bit. I really enjoy the balance of the first and the middle shelves. And I love this little trio here, but I would like to simplify that side just a little bit more. But I'm trying to figure out my groove with the shelf styling. I have not had shelves in basically any of my houses except for the black cabinet that used to be here. And even then, I struggled with that one. So I'm taking it a step at a time, but I love how it turned out. So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope you enjoyed seeing the process of how I styled our antique secretary desk shelves. I try to say that 10 times fast. I This is probably my seventh time filming this outro because I keep tripping over my words. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed and got some decorating ideas and inspiration. I have redecorated a lot of the spaces in our home. We're still going to be doing the kitchen and dining space, as well as our master bedroom. So if you are not subscribed already, be sure to and ding the notification bell. It will alert you anytime I have a new upload. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today, and I will see you in my next video, friends. Bye.